Welcome back. You're now tuned into yet another episode of Business and Buffoonery, episode 23. Mm-hmm. I am your co host, Nick Lowe. Miles Johnson, Babu Freak. And today we have a very special guest. Some, a day one, as some would say. Day one. Day uh, one. Someone we knew from high school, um, a real hooper, a drift team general. <laughs> yes. We got Facts. the one, the only, Larry Gray. What's up, brother? How you doing, Larry? Oh, brother. Welcome on, oh boy. Good thank you for joining you. us on the pod. Is it Larry or Lawrence? Day ones call me Larry Lawrence. Mm. If you first meet me, God G. It's my business. That's name. me with like Nick and Nick Low. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? LG, no Android. Um. So yeah, you know what? But before we kick it off and get into our guest, pause, learn all about him. I wanna, I gotta air something out, Miles. What is it, baby? I wanna hear. You know, there's one thing I hate more than anything. My biggest pet peeve is when someone says they're going to do something with you, makes a plan, a promise, yeah, I, and then the next day they end up flaking. Yeah, I really Have you do. ever experienced this? I experience that all the time with one particular person. All the time. Um, I don't know. Should we shout him out? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck Antoine. Ant- we, we thought Antoine was going to come here. Um, we made a plan with him. And then, you know, <laughs> classic, classic Antoine bails last minute. On his friends, people that matter most. Hanging out with his mom or something, like he <laughs> loves her or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, he might have to go to tryouts next week, but lovely guest, Larry, back on the show for the first time. Are we all good there? So it's all good now. But you're saying Antoine, he's being fake. He didn't show up. Fake. Placebo. I'm fucking sweaty in this. <laughs> But anyway, Antoine, we wanted to have you on, man. Carry the legacy of business and buffoonery. Um, of course, you were you know, a wonderful guest that we had on at the beginning stages. But like I said, Larry's on here, ready to show out. You know, he's been a day one of mine um, since what? Third grade? Good third Shepherd? Grade. Yeah. Headband Miles. Headband Miles. <laughs> I used to be, uh, they call me, they call me Lil Bron back in the day. No, they did not. They did not come in a Facebook Ron. post about that. <laughs> they call I remember, hey, yeah, I did make a Facebook post about, like, this is why I wear this headband. It's disrespectful when y'all oh think God. differently. No I was, way. Hey, I'm probably pretty much the most extra person y'all know. So, yeah, I was uh, definitely started back then in the day. But, yeah, man, Larry's been a, a day one. Uh, our dads coached together um, in CYO um grew up you know always have been you know pretty close in um went to dale south all three of us and uh now here we are so yeah and i haven't i mean when's the last time we talked with each other larry See, i remember you came up to reno my first that really it? damn yes. you came for like a split second i got you on my snap story because back then that was for uh for ably when we came up then oh sh- yeah, yeah we i came remember up for that, that. that's that. why i'm only there for a little bit yeah. But yeah, no, it's good to have you on here. It's good to talk to you, with you again. I'm excited to get on the episode, catch up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll do that for like the first half of the episode. And then the last half, we'll like answer some fan questions. Yep. Okay. It'll be a yep. good time. I'll take some fan questions. Um, so first off, I want to kick it off. Uh, what have you been doing since last time I saw you? You went to Reno, right? Reno, I was there from 2016 to 2019-ish. And then I left, came back here for 2020. That just got into working right after UPS. Hello. Zumbo's uh, delivery business for cannabis. That was a good job. Uh, what happened to that? You got fired? <laughs> no, 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 no. Too I much lo- sativa, baby. Not on the clock. <laughs> yeah, high Not on, on the supply. clock. I mean, we used to get Passed yeah. out in the stall. Hell no. Cats in the bag. I used to get high on the job. <laughs> but no, I went to uh, be a driver for UPS. I had to put in like my little two weeks notice. And then I became a driver. And that went ape shit. I hit a car. <laughs> so you get like a 30 day period Bruh. to prove yourself. I have a good story about this too. Go first though. Oh, you have okay. a 30 day period? Day 27 to 30. <laughs> I'm at this lady's house and like, I'm like good. Like, I have like probably like 10 feet or so, or whatever, in front. And I'm like, I'm speeding because it's Saturday. Saturday is the worst day. You get yeah. all over the place. No one wants to work Saturdays. Hell no. Hell no. no. But I'm about to leave, right? And like, I put the package on the dash for the next stop. You're not supposed to do that. The door is open. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah. No three points of contact. I'm about to leave, and the package is blocking where I could like see the car in front. So I just said, <laughs> fuck it. I, t- <laughs> I turn a little to the left. I leave, and I move. I'm on the ring camera. They showed that I moved the car from the video oh, to out the video. Smack that shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it was bad. Yeah, Damn, was- called Geico and Allstate. Oh yeah, it was. Shit is fuck. Really? What kind of car was it? Shitty or good car? It was a good car. I mean, it Fuck. wasn't like a great car, you know, like one of those where yeah. it's like you're crying about yeah, it. Yeah, like CarMax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off the lot. You she know, was just worried 16. about her package the next day. They called me this day. She just wanted to know if her package was there or not because she wasn't there. What the fuck was she the package? She wants to know where the fuck her car is. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in the no. neighbor's driveway. <laughs> <laughs> My car's no, still there. What the, the fuck? Shit. In the like, dealership. Hell but yeah, no. that's what happened. I was a good driver though. Wait, was it? Do you get like insurance? Does insurance cover that? Like UPS? Yeah, yeah, the car thing. So the same shit happened to me because I used to drive for Amazon probably like 2020, 2020 also. Yeah. Like during the pandemic, because I wanted to like work. And then that was like one of the only ones was like delivery companies. So I was doing that for a summer and literally my first day on the job, like Ooh. the last package, I was trying to like scoot into like a spot, like go forward into like a parallel park thing just to get out of the road a little bit. And like I just underestimated how big those fucking cars are. Bro. They're fucking huge. Like you can have like that's insane. Actually, yeah, like thinking about heads that. in the back. Like yeah, it's, uh, it's huge. So and I back and I clipped this car and like knocked off the whole like front like <laughs> fender thing. It was on the ground, bro. I was doing hella like shit. I wasn't supposed to do either. I like had headphones in. I was like the door was open too. I was just bro. fucking mobbing. I heard they'd be like treating open. like Amazon workers and I mean I work at UPS it kinda of wasn't like that. It kinda of had some leeway, but Damn, we all blue collar. That's crazy. All blue collar, yeah. baby. Yeah. Homegrown. But um you'd be pissing in bottles and shit in the Oh bro, yeah. yes. Oh yeah. Because you, you can't stop, bottles? right? You can't stop right in you like can't. You can't anyone like who's done that job knows you gotta piss in the yeah. bottles. You got really? like, three in the cab. Yes. Three in the cab. Or yeah, you look at the little I trash like, one, like yesterday. Did you a bottle? <laughs> Three? The fuck? Bro, yeah. how many gallons of water are you drinking? Dude, they don't understand <laughs> the struggle. Like, you get like, it do- It does it by like stops. So it's like, you'll mm-hmm. make a stop and then sometimes it's like deliver like three packages like on the same yeah. street. So it does it like by stops and it's like, um, schedule it out where you get like four minutes of stop or some shit like that. Real slavery. Dang. Real slavery. So. Damn. Like they got you working at Amazon. I'm just saying, yeah, they got a good system. Like they fucking got that slave labor down. Bezos, yeah. a whole but, master. But yeah, so bro. it's like, so it's like, am I really gonna like use up my time and like try to find a bathroom and like be behind and like yeah. have to like do all that other shit? Or I'm just gonna go to the back, pee in the bottle, beat your meat back there. <laughs> no, you just out of pocket. urinate back there, and then. And then, and then continue on with my job. I feel bad for like the girl drivers there. Like I don't know what they do. They that's gotta bring like a bucket or some shit. That's, <laughs> I never thought about that. Right? Like is this a couple at UPS and it's like what is A they whole do? bucket? The girls probably just have Custodian more. Custodian like, is pissed. Whoever clean up that motherfucking I don't, truck. There again. But yeah, and then one time I like left my pee bottle like in the They get mad. They, in the, they get mad. I mean, rightfully oh, so. Who the fuck did the this? The morning meetings, they'd be like, someone left their pee bottle in 801. I'm like, fuck. Fuck. Yeah, someone me. doodled in 803. <laughs> no, everyone does that. I think Amazon like, got in trouble for that because like they didn't give their drivers like enough. What time if that shit really bad? Like you have to like you ain't shitting. Oh, I got to story no, about that. But I'm serious. I can't pull that out. Man. Hello, yeah. HR. You do on, that on ass. yourself. No, I, I did have to sit on the job. I'm not gonna lie. You doodled time. on yourself? No, I didn't do it on myself. Brown too. Nah. Dark brown now. <laughs> but crazy. uh, no, nah, yeah, those are. I mean, those are fucking. That shit was a hassle. I fucking hated that shit. Do you, uh, so when did you start doing that? So like in 2021, I did my 30 day and I didn't pass cause I hit the car and then, <laughs> and then what, what, what brand was this car? I don't remember. It was a white. I hit some like beater. It was like an old to- ass Toyota Camry and like, <laughs> it's some, he probably was thanking you like some Mexican, <laughs> ass, <laughs> some Mexican ass dude came out, like didn't even speak English. What'd he oh. say? I, he, I couldn't understand him. I just like had to like call yeah, my supervisor and he though. came up. And then Amazon paid for it, but I was just like, he got a new fucking Passat. Or something. I was just like hella scared. I like fucked his shit up, and then like I didn't know what to do. I was like contemplating like driving off, but it's like <laughs> it's like my first day on the job, so it's like if I drive off, I did went through all the training and shit. Like oh, this is the first day. Yeah, the Out first day, like delivering packages after the training. You're still and doing shit. onboarding videos. Exactly, You're bro. Cars and shit. And they tell you not to drive off, so I just stood there until he came out. I didn't even go get him. I was just hella scared. <laughs> really? Then, yeah. What do you say when he came out? Like, was he hella pissed? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was pissed. He's like, "What happened?" I mean, I was just hella apologetic. I was being a dick about it. Like, Why the fuck your car there? <laughs> but uh, and, I mean, I ended up all working Why out. The fuck this piece of shit in my way. <laughs> but yeah. No, so, what do you cute. think you're uh, gonna do after that? Do you have a plan yet? I might do something called feeder, where you basically like I told Miles earlier, where you go to like Richmond Hub, 
you get all these packages they load it up and then they'll just tell you bro like i right, put texas in your map because you're gonna have to drive all the way down to texas jesus but the pay is like two, you need your cdl for better. that yeah, yeah i'm going through that right now okay i took my right first on. test general knowledge they get paid bands they get paid they they get get pay, yeah. yeah they get paid either a buck 60 a mile and you're taking like three thousand miles there and back the fuck i'll be doing donuts Damn, in, this bitch you, in the oh, parking yeah. lot and that's like three and a half days yeah. four days of just working driving around the speedway yeah you're real road like, dog <laughs> i know i know that's the tough part i gotta see how it is yeah. at first if it's something i can handle i'll do it because the money if the money's good i'll do it of course but that's my next step right now because driving's cool but the pay if you're quick you don't get it's based on time if you're not a yeah no so time amazon actually is kind of plug where like if you like are behind and like going slow they'll just call one of the drivers who are faster than you and they'll take like your packages off your hands <sighs> Damn, amazon's yeah. a plug look for that and like if if you're behind and like don't meet your quota whatever like you don't really get docked pay really well, you nice. just have people help you and I'm crazy. like, why the fuck would I work hard then? Yeah, <laughs> I know. And like, I just have to go do more work. I'm like, slow down. I just yeah. taking long lunches and shit. <laughs> How long are you guys' lunches? Thirty minutes. Damn, oh, shit, yeah. I actually. Slavery. We in the car. I pull up to the good uh, the local park. You know, get out, <laughs> sit on. The- <laughs> you pack your lunch. Uh yeah, yeah, you got to. But like, yeah, I pull up to the local park, just chill there, watch some, watch some birds. <laughs> Damn, life like that, <laughs> sir. This is a professional yeah. podcast. What was that? That's Wait, funny. but we got to talk about that. So that's the next thing. Before we started recording, Larry oh. dropped his iPhone 10. Show, show the people. Show the beautiful people. Don't get, <laughs> and someone's calling him right now. But he dropped it, and it like, went crazy on him. Don't that. take your phone to the mall to get fixed. I'm telling I all know, the beautiful people now, scam. because they. I was telling them, they use lamb skin. I swear. Because White the, people? No. I'm not gonna turn say, off your ringer. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you're gonna want to use uh, the Damn. the. But the people at the Apple place. store be taxing though. Yeah, and plus yeah. the lines at the fucking door. Oh, so just like a oh, different yeah, phone yeah. place, yeah. not in the mall. Yeah, the kiosk yeah. they'll fuck you the up. The kiosk, yeah. Yeah. yeah Wait, yeah. that happened to you, bro? I dropped my phone and literally it broke the whole phone. It like fucked the whole phone up. Not just the no screen. case. Nope. <laughs> You thought I mean, you was I him. Think I, did, I, had, <laughs> I thought you were him. I actually had that titanium case, like that iPad case. That OtterBox? Like that whole <laughs> OtterBox. That was famous. I remember I got roasted in high school because I used to clip that shit to my fucking belt. Oh. I, I, think was, I, I, I forgot who. I think it was like JJ Porter's. He was like, bro, take that shit off. <laughs> I think he's Stephen A. <laughs> Get an alert. Working at H&R Block sophomore year. Fuck? <laughs> I thought that shit was so clean when they gave you a little holder for it. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not see, clean. I'm gonna see every notification. <laughs> you got me fucked up. <laughs> Miles walking out the house, his dad's like, oh my boy, clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My boy's not professional. Bro, I got that shit from his daddy. <laughs> Talking about fucking Dale Sal uniforms and shit. We didn't really have uniforms, but we had cargo pants. That's just garbage for life. Like I can't wear any cargo pants. I can't mm. wear any. Like all it's hard like enough that. for me to go to work and wear all shirts. Sperry's. I don't remember the last time I seen someone in Sperry's. Sperry's had a chokehold. Chokehold. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty ass Sperry's. Leaning mm. to the side. <laughs> yeah, bro, that was crazy. I actually got a pair in my closet. Really? Fresh. You I remember used to wear a yeah. hell of Sperry's. I don't. I give them away. Whoever wants them. Really? Size 12. Yeah. You want them a, size 12? We're doing a B&B giveaway. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't need Goodwill. Them. Larry's Sperry's. <laughs> Ooh. Line up. Two years ago, Christmas. I was like, why did I get them? Do they even <laughs> make Sperry's anymore? They yeah, do. Of I mean, there's they boat do. people out there that like spiders. They boast you, I think. That shit gonna come yeah. back. You think so? Yeah, probably. I need to turn what my drone f- off. Sorry, we're getting notifications. What, uh, we're blowing what up. What's going viral. on here? Too famous. Too famous. Um, but I mean, that sucks. You gonna get a new phone soon? <laughs> you got an yeah. iPhone 10. What what year was that? XR? You said I got it probably 2018. You probably have. You're probably on the contract where you can like just trade they it just in. Just texting me. You want to upgrade? But I don't you know need to upgrade. Are we late? We lit, yeah. How much is an upgrade if you actually do it? I actually don't know. I need to talk to my dad about that. I think he's the guy that I go through. Really? Yeah. Um, I've been telling yeah, him. Don't, don't go to the, the lamb dealers over there. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> I need an upgrade. Dealers. Legit. But uh, yeah, wait. So you're going to get a new phone for your birthday. Your birthday coming up, huh? Is what you're yeah. saying? What you, you got any plans? 
Yeah, going to the city. Okay. Uh, bought a table at the Grand. Mm. Nice little nightclub. Talking to the mic, sir. It cost a band out there. That's but not bad it, for a table. It's not. Because that's, that's actually not bad. Special. The Grand? Yeah. I might do that for after I boat, would. after yacht party. I'll give you a review because that shit. I mean, it looked nice. You're going to be on Yelp after this? Yeah. <laughs> but five out of five, torque zone and everything. <laughs> Bitches were bad. <laughs> Alcohol was on time. Would recommend. Would recommend going 100%. again. <laughs> it's a nice place. First time out there. Um, yeah, cost Ben. I'm splitting with Brandon because his birthday's Friday, mine's Sunday, mm. and we're going out Saturday. So okay, like, I would be out there with you, man. I'll just I got sober salad. Three, you know, three. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, three weeks left. So, what day are you on a hard seventy five? I am on day oh fifty five. <laughs> I have twenty. Uh, I'm losing track right now, but I have twenty more days left. Yeah, but it's been okay. great, man. Winding down, feeling a lot better, feeling feeling cleaner, leaner. 20, you said 25 left? 20 days. 20 days? 20 days. Oh, so yeah, so, oh. Yeah, so they said been, you couldn't do it. They said I couldn't do it. I Praying wonder, on my downfall. I wonder who would say that. Praying on my downfall. Yeah, I was um, wondering too. But yeah, man, I'm excited to kind of get off of it and kind of just get back to relaxing and chilling. I think the workout... You're going to just get back in your demon shit, ruin no, all the No, I'm progress. not. I'm only drinking on special occasions. Like actually. He, said, he said the first day, at the 75th day or 76th day, he's going to shotgun a four loco. <laughs> That like, is no, I, no, I'm not. I was fucking around. I said my body That's might deadly. actually might actually go into shock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I might fall over like cardiac it's arrest. It's not going to recognize what no, you're No, it's going to be like <laughs> malfunction, malfunction, <laughs> me, me, overload. Just explode on the scene. <laughs> well, yeah, man, I'm excited. Um, definitely a program that a lot of people should look into. Um, it's good to start it at the beginning of the year because like that New Year's resolution rather than start it like in March or April because... If you started then, then like people, most people drink like during like the summertime for random reasons. Facts. Um, and you don't really have a reason to start it. Like so, mm. it's been good, man. I mean, get into uh, another book. Can't hurt me, David Goggins. So read yeah. something entertaining. But no, that's not the point. It's to read something. <laughs> he's reading self help books. That's what the I whole know. You be posting that on like yeah. Snapchat. <laughs> I mean, it motivates me for a split second. Then I'm like, that's fuck just not, no, that's not me. Captain man. Underpants and <laughs> shit. Sorry, what be kid? I do got clutch magic tree house. <laughs> Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> no man, but it's been well. I'm gonna be out in about in about three weeks. And you guys, you know, I've reached out to pretty much everyone that you know knows me. But yacht party month and a half. <laughs> We'll keep on. Hey, I'm gonna keep on advertising this. It's gonna be a yeah. real movie. Airbnb. Bring a GoPro. Oh, well, me and Berg have been talking, so we're gonna definitely international see waters, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like Kamiyachi. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm excited. A lot of a lot of good times coming up. Uh, no more demon time. What you better? Maybe here and there. What you better ask for for your birthday? What do you want? I don't know. I That's guess it. your birthday's hella far away. What do you hella want for your away. birthday, Lawrence? Your birthday is uh coming up this week. What, like it's gonna drop days? on a Friday. Go, you so gotta go to the strip club. Sunday, Sunday, yeah, Sunday. Sunday. Strip club. Sunday. Club. Ooh. No, what I was actually <laughs> this is on the DL. I was just asking Brandon. I this ain't no DL, baby. <laughs> me, nah, man, I can't say that. <laughs> Bro, what? Everything no. on this show flows. We what let the you, demons out. What are you going to do? I want to bring the boys to a massage parlor, you know? Yeah. Them, like you, Nelk. They all went to a little massage parlor. Got the unbelievably lot. horny one? Yeah. I love well, massages. Happy endings at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done that. Have you done that? I feel like Miles has horny. A couple times. No comment. No right. comment. No, I'm playing. I haven't done it. That's <laughs> cap. <laughs> this guy's a liar. I haven't done um, it. Cap. Yeah. I mean, you're going to go to an Asian masseuse probably? culturally yeah. appropriate my people <laughs> <laughs> just turn over Loki, they're always they're dedicated <laughs> fucking pitching for a tent this man didn't even cash. <laughs> come on bro this man didn't even wait for the the fucking hands to touch his body he just turns over <laughs> all right let's get let's get it cracking i got an appointment at three <laughs> what the fuck that's kind of crazy how they actually have massage parlors like that like that's legal I mean, they're yeah. not legal oh they're not they're not you gotta be quiet no. you gotta be quiet yeah yeah they need to be beating you off I guess. Oil I mean, they got, I would never know. They got like an app. Yeah, you would. <laughs> they got like an app where you can they got like. An app. Yeah. What's it like, called? So I don't go on it. I think it's called like Rub Maps. Oh, <laughs> right? Rub Master. Yeah. Oh, he knows good. all the sites. Rub yeah, I, Master. I just looked it up today. Hello. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this man storage full. This man cleared other apps just to download that app. Jeez. <laughs> what is your iCloud password? <laughs> Fuck, I need to find it. This man on the old with Apple and shit. <laughs> Rub maps. 
Huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that'll be cool. Hey, we just put you people on. So if you feel lonely, if you feel like <laughs> no. down and bad, then you know what app to download. That is not putting Shout out Steve off. Jobs, man. Facts. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> uh, what else should we talk about? Um, I feel like the only thing I really know about you, Larry, is like you play basketball. Like, I mean, yeah. are you, I you still basketball. be hooping or what? What did that transition yeah. like out of like hooping and then just being like, obviously like, you know, normal civilian. I know it kind of felt weird. Cause like Cause you went to a good school, <laughs> you and R like, did you ever think about like walking on there? Or? Hell no. Nah. Because we had our team at the time was, was I think we, you had the Martin twins. Yeah, huh? we had the, the league. Martin twins. One, uh, of, them one is, of them yeah. on the Heat. One's on the. He like starts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh really? Big contributor, sixth, really? seventh man, maybe. Really? But like on the Heat, that's like damn near a starter. I remember you saying but, the coach is hella mean. There. Oh, Muslimman. No, he's yeah. loaded. Yeah, he's he in Arkansas to, um, now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they. He nice. He was yeah, beating kids nice. in the locker room and shit with a belt. Nah, he wouldn't do it to them. Nah, he's cool. They were big, some big, big dudes. Jordan, Caroline. Yeah, they're big. Oh yeah. What do you think I mean, is like? What do you think it would take to like walk on there? Like, I would never have walked on mm-hmm. just because like going to Dale's house. It was like a, it was more than a nine to five because you're playing oh, yeah. you play basketball like yeah. twelve hours a day for six days a week for eleven. You get months. burnt out. Yes. Yeah. And I, I think we all did. Playing. Yeah, we all was, did. Yeah, it was terrible going to UNR. I was still playing basketball and I was low key the dude. Like mm-hmm. niggas want to be on my team because oh. we just win. You know, you got that deal style mentality yeah. where you do anything to yeah. to win the game. You got we, that Draymond Green player. We build. were doing that in our intramural football <laughs> yeah. league. I was getting pissed off when we were losing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, got yeah, you got that speech. <laughs> like halftime speech. Like, <laughs> down 17 <laughs> zero. Half the dude's drunk at the fucking game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. It's like, come on, man. Heads up. But it was, it was good. Oh, yeah. Man. What'd you take away from like having that tr- uh, transition from. You know, being at UNR to to now, like. yeah, because UNR is big party school. Yeah. So it was. going from like basketball, where it's all scheduled out, you had to go complete one eighty. You just turn it up. Yeah, it was. Or a, how was it? It was. A, I already know you're turning up. It was a big transition. I did join SIGEP, where oh, I met okay. a lot of a lot of cool Sacramento, Vegas, and Barrier guys. And it was a definitely a, a big transition because you're going from like damn near working without getting paid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to having fun on your parents' money, kind of. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I mean, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. I mean, chicks are coming at you left and right. I mean, Hello. you got your closest bros, kind of like Dale yeah. side where all your bros are in one house. Yeah. Um, It was a cool, it was a, it was a perfect transition, but it kind of got the best of me. I mean, I focused more on being a little frat boy than school and all that. So Yeah, wait, did you, you didn't graduate from UNR? No. You left before? Yeah, parents Damn. are pissed. Damn. Parents are pissed, yeah. They weren't playing that. Do you, do you plan no. on like going back to school or? Like- yeah, East Bay. I was talking to my boy Brandon about it. I just got to talk to a counselor at the school I want to go to. Yeah. And once I get like kind of like a clear map of what I got to do, yeah. then I'll obviously do it. But yeah. I want to go back to school at East Bay just to get it done. Yeah. How many credits do you like kind of have left and like? From you and I. You don't have that. You, you I mean. Pretty much done, right? Like you yeah, from you and R. Unless you failed all those classes. <laughs> no, I only failed two classes. One was That's called normal. accounting. That's normal. I think yeah. I failed like two classes. Accounting okay. is a bitch. Accounting bro. was, I, if I didn't take accounting at DVC before I uh, transferred, I would have failed that shit in Chico. My dad would have been pissed. Because that shit, I literally remember begging the, the professor, like, <laughs> please pass me. And I went to every office hour. I was damn near... Like bro. camped out in his, his office. Knees, that office hours. Like, please, I need a, I need a transfer. I need. <laughs> I've been making up bullshit too. Like, you understand? I work three jobs. I'm at Foot Locker, Barnes and Noble. My Yankee cat Candle. got ran over. <laughs> my cat, hey, it, I'm like now that I graduated in Chico, I was like, oh, my cat died. <laughs> my, my cat got hit by a car. <laughs> we need to bury him today. And my, but <laughs> my professor was like, oh my dear God, <laughs> how many cats do you have? <laughs> yeah, this is I'll the take him in from the street. <laughs> <laughs> like in the street, I come real close with them, and then when things like that happen, when I'm bombarded with all this schoolwork, it just doesn't help. I can't, I can't control the situation, and then they just focus. run off. But yeah, I, I came up with a lot of situations to get out that homework. Sounds Same. bad, but you got to do what you got to do. You really do. That's it's fucking doggy dog world out there, especially in college. The, the finesse was during the pandemic, during COVID. Oh no! Like don't that even was the started. ultimate finesse. Just like turning over, like at. Like whenever your class started logging on and then going back to sleep, and like mm. that would count as class credit, and like going on <laughs> going on Quizlet during the test and just 
cheating oh, bro, yeah. having to study i think like, that, that was, was the ultimate finesse that was the funniest time because like people would leave their cameras on when they weren't supposed to and like people would just be leaving <laughs> their like <laughs> microphones on mute bro i've be, been hearing like people be taking doodles in the bag just and, oh, like, that's shit. terrible bro i would like you remember like it was like hard to transition like from like obviously being in class to like always being online yeah, so yeah. people wouldn't like know how to really use zoom like that so like and the would, teachers were hella like understanding like, yeah. they don't let you do anything they're like oh don't worry like, class like you could turn in all your homework at the end of the year like yeah type yes, shit. Yes. oh my god that was like that, that shit was time. madness like it was crazy it was a blur though like i don't, I don't know what the fuck though. was like yeah it didn't feel like legit i know i couldn't imagine like not being at chico like during the uh pandemic like if i had to like stay home and like actually not go out and see other people my age like that'd be so crazy like we were i mean it like sounds, if you were in high school it sounds bad but we were like turning up like oh yeah every we day during the pandemic mm-hmm. people, like dude they would be taking pictures of, we all like, got like sick like the first week and then it was like, we were, like back to normal. We were in our little bubble yeah we didn't give a fuck the like professors were like taking pictures of like us partying and shit posting oh yeah it. you remember that crazy you guys are selfish and disrespectful shut up bitch <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> where's your mask <laughs> where's your mask I'm drinking. Yeah. I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I mean, on that that, you know, whole perspective of like making transitions and trying to find yourself. We always talk about it, man. I mean, everyone has a different path and you just got to focus on you. I mean, you can't like compare yourself you know, to others. A comparison is uh, the thief of joy, as they say. Who, who so, said that first? Who, Who's that from? Like, I don't know. I just heard it. I know. I heard it too. Quote. Yeah, that is a good quote. It was from a, it was like, from a TikTok, I think. We're just okay. talking about TikTok. I find a lot of good. <laughs> good clip it. That's the new clip. Hey, Save clip that. I will. But yeah, man. I mean, we're all on different paths and all on, you know, different focuses. And I mean, that's yeah. just my little tidbit. But yeah, I mean, in my advice, I think you should go back and get that degree in case like CDL doesn't work out, you know? Fact, like in case yeah. you hate that shit. Because, I mean, that's like the worst if you're like, Five ten years down the road, and you just have no options. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Plus, you're so, close, man, and you're a smart kid. You're a smart kid, and like, you know, really, like that degree, you know, will will really Save benefit you. you tenfold. And you know, you can use that business degree for. It's kind of crazy. Like people hate on business majors because they're like, oh, like they don't do shit. But that degree kind of, you know, kind of saves you in the long run a lot more than other degrees. If it was other than like engineering or you know, law yeah, no, you can like do that. anything with the business degree, yeah. kind of like. I mean, it kind of sucks, but it's more about like the connections of yeah. like, who you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Psychology majors be applying to fucking sales positions and shit. What the fuck am I going to do with the art degree? <laughs> <laughs> no, what the fuck you, you got? Major? <laughs> no. Oh, I what the fuck you Why the fuck you studying history? Benjamin Franklin. Unless you're going to be a teacher, it's like I really don't see what the like. Getting goldfish thrown at you. and I love history. Like I would have been. Gum. If you could yeah. like actually like make a lot of money off of it, like yeah, I would do history. I like history. I actually That's like learning course. history a lot, yeah. but I wouldn't major in it. <clears throat> yeah, you can learn that shit on your own, kind of. Yeah, you could be loaded and baked off the TV and literally put on a history document. That's what you should do. You should get a history book. Mm. But no, mm. Mm. that's the next book right there. That's the next history book. book? Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> you mean Benjamin the, uh, Franklin and the kite? <laughs> the Wait, did actually start the kite? The Teddy, the kite? Teddy Roosevelt biography. Oh, Fuck Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Wait, oh, Bar- Barack Obama. Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah, forty-four. <laughs> His <laughs> memoirs. <laughs> shit. 44 steps that's what it's called really no bitch. no <laughs> <laughs> so uh, like it's joking but yeah what else have you been up to? like U- ups unr you went from unr to ups mm-hmm. yeah what still the hooping fuck you here do, and there i hoop <laughs> what the fuck do you we're do, about to do we're about to do a men's league me okay. zumbo a couple of the dale style boys hey men's league because we hoop at 24 yeah. me zumbo yeah. brandon vince romeo and we're kind of nice got that chemistry from dale i hate style. hooping at 24 yeah, Hella ratchets. Foul. Yeah, bro. bro. They call three fouls in the same possession. Coach and I'm Pay like, is not what? watching you. There's no exactly. scouts here. I'm like, bro, it's a lot of high school kids it. too. Cause you know, oh, we bust ass. Is it more high school or like bust old heads? heads. Wanna Creek, old heads. Sarah yeah, Malone, high school. Do you still hoop at um? What's Ultimate. that? Which coach? Uh, Ultimate. Frankie and yeah. I'm about to coach. I'm about to coach again there. Starting okay. Next hey. Monday. Yeah. I'm big on but basketball is my passion. I mean, yeah, I watch yeah. it, I coach it, I love to develop it with mm-hmm. their kids. Really came up hey. from the, yeah. the gutter with it, man. I mean, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't have gone to Dale's style to hoop if I really. Because re- I mean, it's a system, and if you get in trouble once, you're in trouble forever. And that's what we happened. always had Dale's. I mean, yeah. since we are, we all went to Dale's style, and everyone. Knows I always bring that shit up, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I mean it's just because 
that shit had such a, like a impactful like you know meaning to my life and i know when i bring up people like oh this, this motherfucker bring up high school again yeah but you know since we all went to you know same school it was kind of i'm i don't compare it like a prison or a jail because we probably thought about it like that when we were like kids and we, we didn't have any like free time to basically go out but no nah, it's like a it job did, it's a job it did it did yeah, i mean it yeah. developed us you know i think um, oh, for sure. Really well, and like we took a lot of life lessons yeah. from you know being at that yeah. school. But you know, playing sports there was just a whole another ball game. Like I would talk to my friends and be like, "Y'all already out of practice? Like you know, yeah. you know they're all Boy. obviously doing other shit, and you can only play like." One sport there too. Realistically, I, was, I thought I was baby Braun, so I was trying to do, <laughs> yes! I was trying to do basketball baby first. Braun. I didn't get past like you know five nine, Who so dreams. I had to cut it back and and play a little bit of DB and um. But you know that that you know the life lessons we learn from like sports and you know just the teachers and and being in that environment was crazy. Like, what do you guys think you you took away from that whole situation? Oh, I mean, we've already talked about it before, but like, yeah, just learning a bunch of life lessons, like forming, like, I like you form way stronger bonds with like teammates and people mm-hmm. when you go through like some shit, like, yeah, <sighs> like it's some bullshit, and like, kind of <laughs> like group up together and just, I don't know, pick each other up when you get down because yeah. it's like fucking hard. Um, I know for like De La Salle, it's like winning state and everything is like crazy. Mm-hmm. They haven't done it since we left. Hello. Last team. Damn, that's crazy. That's actually. crazy. Yeah. Then, Sports hasn't been the same since 2016, I feel like. Oh, um, no. What they feed the kids. They fell off, the bro. The celery is fake or something. Yeah. Spinach yeah. or some shit. Whatever Lunches they feed them. Hit the same. But, they stopped yeah, putting man. the creatine in the water. <laughs> yeah. No more muscle <laughs> muscles. People like, used to say. Shit. <laughs> so that. They say we got dorms on campus. <laughs> like, come on. That would be crazy if some Zoe 101 shit was dorms on campus. That'd be sick. That'd be crazy. Um, what do you think about John Morant? I'm not a big fan of John. I'm not <laughs> gonna lie. He's I'm, so annoying, bro. He is. He's cocky. He just thinks he's a thug. He I'm does. Over it. Like it's crazy. Like he, you know, he grew up, you know, just in the suburbs. Normal, yeah. Did he or did he not? No, he did. I see he it did online. Him and Sperry's and shit. I know, but I see like His you wore Sperry's and shit. I mean, I don't claim that I'm hard. <laughs> like what the fuck? And he has millions of dollars. You baby Braun. Baby Braun. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I think he's doing too much. DC got in trouble again today. Yeah, punching being a kid. seventeen, yeah. year old ass. thirteen, fourteen uh, times in the face, punching. What really? Something. Yeah, they like, some, they like, uh, yeah, I don't know if I believe that, but like the report is like they got in like a fight, at, like a pickup game over the summer. Yeah. So Bro, how what is get, he doing? Like your job, Morant? Why are you even he in the at, league? He made it at City Sports hooping. <laughs> like, bro, go to an actual like certified gym yeah, like where pro NBA runs. players play. He yeah. trying to Rucker Park beating up seventeen. Year trying to keep it real. Trying to fuck him. Trying to play with the fans. He's Man. not overrated, but the Grizzlies are. Oh, I hate the Grizzlies, shit. bro. I hate Dylan Brooks. Yeah, he's my. Like, brother. I want to like if someone's. I've never seen a face and so he's slappable. Dookie. He's terrible. Yeah. He's terrible. Actual he's not feces. even. He's fourth on the team, if anything. Yeah. On a not a subpar team, but like a par team, an average team. Who's a buff dude again? Bane. Bane. Yeah. Bane. He really he's matches not, the name Bane. Real yeah. Bane. He's not it's bad crazy. actually. He could shoot three and D. He needs a drug test. Who do you think's gonna win it all this year? And then we'll, we'll end the first segment after this. Who, who you got winning it all? If I had to put Lakers. a band on it, nah. No, Lakers ass. Fuck they you. all hurt. A band, probably the Fuck. Celtics. Celtics? Yeah, complete team. But the Warriors. Fuck Warriors you. injuries. Every year, it's Warriors. Bro, Curry. they said it last year and they beat the Celtics. Curry got icicle. But the yeah. Celtics have definitely gotten better and the Warriors have gotten worse, I think, this and year. And the Celtics are healthy. They, I mean, their players, they'll be out a couple games, but they, yeah. they stay healthy. No, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how its death looks when they come back, but... If they ass if, as usual. I feel like if they uh don't like get the six seed and have to do the play in, they might lose. It's gonna be tough to beat them like <laughs> yeah. uh four out of seven times, especially at home. That's true. But you could, yeah, that's true, that's true. But then yeah, so I think I think Celtics in the East, I wanna see what the Kings do. Kings oh, they're in shock no. this year. Kings are nice. I mean, they got a good they don't get swept in the first round. They no. not hundred percent. No. Their scoring is like I think they're number two in scoring, one eighteen. In the league? Yeah. Yeah, they're raw. No. They might no be experience first. in the playoffs. I mean, Call yeah, that. that's true because coaching is different. I'm just it's biased true. as well because I don't want to see. But the, the coach has experience. Who's the coach? Mike Brown. Ooh, from the, from the Warriors. I'm Ooh, saying. he's learned from Kerr. Hey, he learned from Braun. <laughs> sure, uh, that too. He learned from everyone. <laughs> but he, he, got, he got, yeah, he learned from a lot of people, a lot of greats. But yeah, no, that was talking basketball. We usually <laughs> don't talk sports, but that was a good sports segment. We got Larry here. We got to talk sports. Um, with that being said, we're going to wrap up the first half of the podcast. Uh, we'll be right back with fan questions. 
Oh, we got a lot of them. We got a lot of them. You guys showed out this week. Actually, you asked some good questions finally. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna. the phone's still broken, buddy. <laughs> yeah. And we're going we're gonna to see uh, what Larry has to say about it. We'll be right back. Hello. Welcome back. This is the second half of episode 23 of Business and Buffoonery with our special guest, Larry Gray. What's good? Um, <laughs> we're going to go into some fan questions. You know how it goes. We post on the Instagram. You guys reply to the stories. We answer the questions. We do it every week. You want a question answered, reply to the story, and we will answer it. Um, before we get into that, just make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Got to say it. You know how it is. Yeah. Share with a friend. Um, yeah, follow the Instagram, Business Buffoonery. Go to the website, businessbuffoonery.com. I think we got merch coming soon. Yes, sir. We keep, keep saying that, but I think finally it's Finally got soon. merch. I don't know what took fucking UPS or FedEx so long, but it Larry, finally get on has your arrived. <laughs> Larry, right. hit up HR and ask him what happened. But well, thank him for the finally the dropping shirt. off the merch that we so you know long have, have hoped for and <laughs> yep, been yep. wanted. Um, yeah, small, medium, larges. Uh, we'll get them going for you guys on yeah. the website and, and follow, take it from follow, there. Follow the Instagram at Business Buffoonery. We'll have all the details on there. We'll post, the, and loaded, baby. post the link. You can fill out your size and everything. Pause. And extra larges. I think we have extra larges. Yeah, well. yeah we're gonna go like from medium to extra large. Yeah, we know you ladies. Maybe like a double extra XL large. in there double for XL. you big bodies. For you, <laughs> hello, McNuggets, <laughs> little BBWs little out there. B- I see you, <laughs> looking thick. Exactly. Um, but yeah, let's get into these fan questions. All right, first, awesome. Let's go. First question is from Kyle. He says, "If she on a party, if she's on a party poster." And those flyers are on Insta. Should I still let her be my girl? Fuck no. <laughs> Why? Which is a thought. <laughs> yeah, double that. <laughs> She's just on the poster. What you? I mean? think he was like talking about like those ratchet posters that they'd be putting up, like girls be modeling yeah. and shit. Uh-huh. No, they, I, I mean that's not have... bad. That's what I'm saying. No. She's just that making money. Bad as ba- bad as yeah. bitch. No, I don't. Yeah. Think, I'm I'm kind of different with that shit. I don't know like why. I like mean, if, if, it we, depends if she's by herself, which she's like has hella dudes surrounding her on the poster. Yeah, then that's, then that's yeah, different. That's, yeah. This ain't like a fucking scene of black. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she on the couch, there's like five black guys behind her. <laughs> Whoa, this can't be. That's me. Rip it off from the telephone pole. <laughs> oh my. Let me see she's that. Bitch, so. But no, I mean that kind of can go on like the point of like if your girl had a, had an OnlyFans or if your girl had yeah, you know, is like an Instagram model and like super popular and. You know, would people, would you still like be okay with IG model fine? Yeah, yeah. IG model fine. Uh, only fans, fans, maybe like if it's like, uh, like a, she's a foot, you know, doctor. Damn, or, you hate women's rights. No, what? Why is, can't she just make money off of her body? What do you mean? That's what I'm saying. That's a hustle. Because if she respects she's me, a hustler. she should respect she a herself. girl boss. You gotta respect how independent. They make money. You can make money other ways. Yeah, yeah but it's harder. Bitch, go to school. <laughs> but I mean, have you guys ever like, I feel like <laughs> Bitch, go to school. I feel like this is something Miles might have done. Have you ever like gone to one of those parties that you see like a flyer for on Instagram? I feel like in the high school, like that was like more like when you I was freak. like, I think in like Santa Barbara, when I was in Santa Barbara those days and like not in a fraternity and like just doing my own thing out of JC, you know, roaming the streets. Cause like back to in Santa Barbara, bro, I would go to any party that like kind of, I could get into, like I could find my way into, you I don't fiend. care. It, it was crazy, bro. Like, Kind of going back on it, you guys can probably like vouch for this. Like, we did not give a fuck whose house it was, uh, who was there. Mm-mm. Like, we were always showing up to random shit, drinking with random people. It's yeah. kind of crazy, but yeah, I've been to that. It's been shot up maybe once or twice, aired out. Exactly, not that's ideal. What I'm yeah, the shit Let's shoot out the over. roof. <laughs> I got a gun, <laughs> Larry. You have any experience with this? With uh, the poster or just like going to <laughs> going to like ratchet parties? Nah, yeah, no. Nah. You've been to ratchet parties? No, you get scared. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I you mean, guys, I, I pick and choose kind of. You guys safety. both from Brentwood, right? Pittsburgh, Lays, Pittsburgh, Brentwood, <laughs> <Never laughs> really tri-state been. area. Where, uh, Doof Doofenshmirtz. Yeah, Phoenix and Fur. Yeah, built different headquarters. <laughs> if you know, you know. If y'all know, y'all know. I should have wore the fucking hoodie. Rossmore. Um, Rossmore. but yeah, I mean. Uh yeah, I probably wouldn't either. I mean, you can talk to her. I probably There's wouldn't a lot date her, more make nice her my wife. Yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough sell. But I mean, I will give her a shot. You know, tough sell. It looks like she's selling pretty good. <laughs> if she's on a fucking poster, 
Hello. But, uh, hello. <laughs> but yeah, that was Kyle. Thank you for the question, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's this? Who's your uh, this? I don't know who this is. The voice. Let me see. This is your boy. Oh, remember Dirk from uh, Dale Sal? He was like my brother's name. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Dirk. Shout my out boy Dirk. Little Dirk, little <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> Shout out Dirk. Dirk, yo, that's his fucking Instagram handle. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you saying? This is a grown man. Why? <laughs> um, Shout this out is Dirk. A grown man. He's saying, uh, when you getting Devin Asiasi on the show? That's a good point, man. I've always Boy. wanted to have like a professional athlete on the show. I think he's busy. I'll, I'll hit him up and see what he's been doing. He's in been, Cincinnati. Been a, it's it's off, off season. season. The fuck? You that would be, be hella home. funny. It would be hella funny. We should get Damon and and um, and Devin. Yeah. So okay. we, yeah, for Polly's people on. for people who don't know, Devin Asiasi went to high school with us. Uh, he's our class. We played uh, football with him and Dale Sal. And he ended up getting drafted to the New England Patriots in the third round. Now on the and now he's Bengals. on the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. That'd be hella funny to get him on here. He's hella funny. He is hella funny, mm-hmm. man. I wish him, wish him well. Yeah, man. He's he, he a hooper, too. You ever oh, one on one against Devin? Yeah, we go. No, I got a story. Let's though. go. That's what we're talking about. I want to say. I got to send this to Dev. Either freshman or sophomore year, we're at JV practice. This one, Devin just got done with football. And he came to yeah, a he basketball was different. practice. He playing varsity Man, he football. Was, he was the only six, one five, was like two thirty, like two forty. Yeah. And Brandon got cool. I was matched up on him on the wing. It was three on three. So when you're on the wing, it's so vivid. How you remember it, this? It's the No, because it was like we we're just like, coach, what the fuck were you thinking? Yeah. Devin was on the wing on offense with two other great players like JJ and Julian Corpus. Yeah. It was me, Brandon, and probably like Nikhil yeah. or Matt. J Rat or some shit. No, no, J Rat's on the other side because yeah. the teams are split equally. Yeah. Devin. They pass it to Devin. Brandon's guarding him. It took Devin maybe one dribble to go from the wing to the post. And he just finished it with the easy layup. And then Devin, they were like, all right, Devin, you're going to have to go to varsity. And after that, we were like, we never saw Devin again. He went straight to varsity. His oh, this was on JV? Yeah. I think he was a freshman that year. And that, that was, was when crazy. we knew he was this shit. Yeah, that, nah, he was different. Of a one dribble layup? One dribble and the dunk against Mitty. He dunked on Mitty. Oh, I remember that. I think I was at Remember that? that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we were f- freshmen. Yeah, we were Must freshmen. Been, we yeah, played yeah. on the same team, yeah. man. Yes. Team Green. Locked See, in. Hey, <laughs> that, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> who, the fuck, hey, who the fuck is on the sideline with Team I remember just <laughs> brother, randomly. Brother Michael in the stands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you got face paint. Well, who the fuck asked the other team, can, hey, can you dunk? I think that was me. <laughs> no, that was like was Gray that? or a Oh, gr- wait. A bossy, it was Gray. Right. And then somebody slapped at the team. Was that saying Ignatius? <laughs> though? slapped the fuck out of him. It was like, what the fuck would you ask that question? Coach Romer? No, it was no? like, I think it was McCarshick, bro. McCarshick, where? <laughs> what of his teammates slapped him because he said, can you dunk? Yeah, he asked the other team. Because like, you know when the other six? team would like walk by? <laughs> He said, hey, can you dunk? I think it was like Gray. <laughs> the yeah, just like, what the fuck would you ask that? <laughs> Them some big boys though. Good time, yeah. I mean, that was good time. That's just hell of funny. Baby Ron days. Yeah, I mean, Devin, he's welcome on whenever. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll schedule something. We're always looking for guests, so yeah. If you want to hit us up, hit up the Instagram. We'll see if you're worthy. You're worthy. Stand in line. If you got tryouts like Antoine, don't be fake. (laughs) Like the person that we know, yeah, Antoine. Fuck you, Antoine. Come up with plans that aren't don't exist. He had prior engagements. Bitch, you knew you had engagements. (laughs) You knew. Can't make plans (laughs) with plans. But yeah, that's my little spiel on that situation. But yeah, so when we're having them on, I don't know, whenever. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. We would do numbers. Good question. Good question. Um, we've already done this one, I think, but biggest red flags. I think we already talked about that. A lot what's, of red flags. What's I yours? should have drafted up a list. What's yours, Larry? Yeah. Well, what, yeah what's well, the well, big red flag towards what? Towards, towards females. Like, towards females. Or you, males, if that's as you're into. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I mean, not red flag, but for... Bros would be bro code, like flags, I guess. Okay. Like, like talking like to your one. ex or yeah. doing that shit. And I've experienced it, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna say any of that. Expose but, him. Nah, nah, nah. Because they're my, <laughs> they're my boys. Uh, but girl-wise, girl-wise, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I've been in a relationship the last three years. Or my ex with my ex. And she, there's no red flags she's done. So, I mean. But if you, but like, she, if you were to move she, on. If I, yeah. Like you on a first date and this you on a girl, first date and you this see. girl does this one thing, the date's over. I don't mean to put you on the spot. But. I'm not. I'm not picky like that. Like unless you, I don't know. Smell like boo boo. 
I mean, yeah. If you, I if you got bad hygiene, that's yeah, what that's I tough. said. Bad breath is number one. Oh, I told you about you that. Talk, if you talk face to face and I and smell your breath it, I'm high, like, my eyebrows about to fall off. Yes, my eyes burning like fuck. <laughs> why are you crying? They ask why. <laughs> my shit just to, that's goes what limp, <laughs> <laughs> like a turtle going back in his shell. <laughs> Hell no. I think yeah. my biggest red flag. Um, if she's on a flyer for a poster. No, uh, that's that's one. That's definitely up there. <laughs> I think it's just like the crystals and like asking what my sign is and shit. Like Ooh. I can't like we already talked about that, but she like when what time you born is Yeah, shit. like I've had I've actually had a couple encounters with girls like asking what what's your sign or what time you're born? Like after the first date, before the first date, and like not even getting to know me as a person and just judging me off like uh, a, yeah. a sign. And like we astrology and stuff, you know, some people believe in it and kinda is you know real. I mean on, on some cases but when you're too deep and invested into that and you're kind of blinding you from seeing the person that you're really you know talking to or on a date with that's a big red red flag and you know a lot of girls and i hate to say it man it's kind of crazy how many girls are just invested so much into that and kind of like judging their next partner or like their next relationship on that it's actually insane it blows my mind it's actually crazy but no that's just something my little rant about astrology that we've had for the last two episodes you can't think of anything else. we no, always no. talking about to the girls all that come on here about that and they all like love that shit they love it bro and then like, they know everything about it like everything what 333 fine. means or what each number means what Those crystal angel numbers the, you euphrates crystal with the purple <laughs> mix <laughs> the yeah, tallahassee <laughs> jack <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm trying to think of another one it's probably like i don't know um what is okay. she? Uh, we like, there's so many red flags. I'm trying to think of one, like a really good one. Um, I don't know. Being annoying, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. If she's annoying, it's probably pretty. Shitty. I don't know how to look like, really. But how do you like be annoying? Her. She talk too much. Talk about herself too much. Mm, okay. Not really invested into you. Um, yeah, if they talk about themselves more than about you. Yeah. I feel like that's a red flag. Horrible laugh. Oh, <laughs> laugh. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> laugh. Yeah. Like I've I've had that like a I've dying chihuahua. <laughs> I, oh, a rat dog. I don't know why. It probably has nothing to do with the girl. Is she own a rat dog. Is she own a rat dog or that little crusty ass dog with like the little just shit in its eyes? Oh, that pisses me off for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Like it's that's like, a good red flag. Yeah, and I don't know. It long. Oh, no, I don't know. Rat dog. Right. Rat dog. Rat is dog. A good, that's the final cat. answer. Cat? Does she have a cat as a red flag? A cat was, that attacks your feet. That. I was thinking about that, yeah. Yeah, I remember going to work one time. A cat literally mauled me to death. Yeah. Well, not death, obviously, but it, it mauled me. To the point me. you want to kick it? Yeah. There was this, <laughs> there was this one video. Miles was <laughs> at this girl's house, and he was just faded, and this cat kept bothering him. He sent us the Snapchat. He, like, dumped, like, white claw. Like, a little <laughs> <on>. <laughs> Like, like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that cat. Peter bro, coming now. That, that's the cat that was literally bugging me. That was like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was on top of the John. The cat literally <laughs> scratched the bottom of my foot, bro. Hella hard. And it kept following me and just like walking up and seeing what the fuck I'm doing. Hell no. Smell like ass, too. Yeah. Cats <laughs> smell like shit, I feel like. <laughs> they clean themselves with their tongue, of course. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Look at the booty hole and shit. And they um, live outside most of the time. <laughs> yeah, Zero. outdoor. I mean, we had a I had a cat in college. That cat was sick. Yeah, what was that cat's name again? Doctor Cuteness. <laughs> what? It was Sam Barron's oh, yeah. cat. Oh no! If you know Sam Barron's, but yeah, that cat was a beast. It would like go outside during the day while we were all at school, and then like be waiting for us on the porch when we got back. Like that was kind of cool. And it was like, bringing and mice it, and shit. Yeah, that was Ooh. fucked up. It brought in a fucking dead. Oh, that shit was fucked up. Run a dead rat, like little rat, into my like room, and like was waiting for me, like, at, like, like, at, like <laughs> under my desk, and like went to go pet it, and it had a, it turned around, there was a dead rat in its <laughs> mouth. And I freaked out. I hate rats. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, we hate rats. What's uh, what's like the one? What's like your biggest like fear? Not like a deep question, but like I hate rats. Like you scared of, like heights or some shit? Like what's like your nah heights? I'm fine with. I can skydive, planes, all that. You've been skydiving before? Yeah. Right after high school. Oh, how was that? I haven't been. Boy, it's fun. I got footage of it too. It's fun. I feel like skydiving is like white people shit. It yeah, is. It'll okay, take yeah. one drunk instructor to like end your whole life. Would you ever go uh, bungee jumping? Yeah. That shit I would not do. 
But you gotta know you're safe in all case. Like it take one. All you hear is a snap. Yeah, Boom. Like, that's like one out of like a billion chance, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I eventually will take. It. I mean, you gotta take risks. Yeah. To get a reward. <laughs> I flew on a plane. I mean, that's kind of heights over Berkeley Hills and San Francisco. You flew a plane. I was with someone, but like I'm about it, to was, say. it was nice. It was nice. end up like Kobe. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, out okay. of pocket. Out of pocket. <laughs> I want to say too early in the but... helicopter. Um. Okay. Yeah. I hit the ocean. Ocean is my. Best. Ocean. I'm going on a cruise, but I'm gonna be drunk. I'm not even gonna notice. I'm in the on the ocean. In the ocean. Ocean's scary, bro. Like being stranded out there. Like every time I like Life of Pi type shit. Yeah. Like I, I would hate our castaway. Like I would hate being stranded on an island by myself. That's fucking that'd be you jumping off the yacht at your birthday party. <laughs> End up in Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> you know, try to do the Titanic on the edge and fall off. I wonder if anyone's fell off on that boat. Like what they probably had to deal with. I don't know. Last time you broke Life the whole jacket. hand railing. Yeah. You did? Bro, I, I've <laughs> they probably know about it, but like Oh, my brother's, my brother had a, a party yeah, on the, the same, same boat, yacht. Same and there's like a railing right there, right? And like, you know what I'm talking, it's like a beam, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then there's like a metal railing on it, like kind of like goes like this, and I was like, it's like, you probably, like, you like hold on to yeah, it? Yeah, it's probably for like, like when it's like, yeah, when it's like rocking middle. and like turbulence and shit, and I don't know why, I was drunk as fuck. It was probably going to happen sooner or later. It shouldn't have fell. It shouldn't have fell, bro, yeah. it literally... The whole beam just came off. We haven't even left the dock yet. Like we haven't even left the dock yet, and I was like trying to tell him, like I just, I just hung on it and it fell. And that motherfucker, guess how much it was? Like to three bands. No, just a band, but still, oh. like three it's shit, three bands. Oh, I don't know why I said three, three bands. 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 I would have, I would have over left. I would have left. Fuck but that. yeah, but I don't know. Like that boat. I'm not gonna say anything for my birthday. I wanna have a good sailing. Yeah, we gotta fuck up. We gotta fuck up the you. boat. Make miles pay for it. <laughs> yeah. If you yak or bring alcohol in that John, it's a thousand dollars. I'm bringing alcohol. No, you can't bring alcohol to your boat. No, you because they want you to pay for it at the fucking bars. There's two yeah, bars. Yeah, that should be on yeah, the water bottle. With the Hello, really? yeah. this ain't no motherfucking Grey Goose baby. <laughs> that video is legendary. Water bottle, ain't no Grey Goose baby. <laughs> hey man, y'all get caught and they charge me thousand dollars on your ass. Uh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'll take that risk. City job, we'll we'll right. figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Stranded in the bay. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what else we got. Um, let's see. Billy asks, he says, would you rather, all the time, would you rather talk like Yoda or breathe like Darth Vader? That's some nerd ass shit, man. That is. Cause the fuck, you are high, that's, man. That's the questions they want to know. Shout out Billy. <laughs> I think I'd rather. <laughs> what bowl are you on when you fucking type that in? Stizzy blinking. <laughs> that shit <laughs> burning a hole in his pocket. <laughs> Give it up, buddy. <laughs> Stizzy blinking. God damn, that shit on fire. Tatis highlights on. <laughs> 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 okay, Billy, to answer your loaded ass question, um, pretty much, what is it? Talk like Yoda? Talk like Yoda probably or breathe Yoda. like Darth Vader? Probably talk like Yo, Yoda. You'd be scaring the hoes, breathing like Darth exactly. Vader. Exactly. Like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah. Or you can, like, blame it on, like, a. It, bitches, love, bitches love accents. If you got the Yoda <laughs> accent. <laughs> that is true. I mean, that I never thought true. of it like that. Talking but. like Yoda? I feel like, I mean, I feel like I do too. If, like, a British girl a comes up to me. Are. And she like is talking like a British accent, like that's hot. I feel it's like it's way more attractive. Yeah, I don't because some Asian girl... accents are kind of gross. What Asian accents are kind of gross? Like a British accent, like a French British. accent is like beautiful. It's polite. It's do nice. an Asian accent because I'm gonna get canceled. I can't on do CNN. it. I can't. I don't know any uh, canceled on scene. They just like talk with like their throat a lot. <gasps> like um, like you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's true. <sighs> like jump me out. Like they like, talk like that. Like my mom gonna be mad. That's what they talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Asian too. I ain't gonna do it. I yeah. like my job. But um, no, I mean, but uh, what do you think about accents? I think Ooh. they. What do you think? I had a girl that had a, <laughs> she had a Scottish accent, Ooh. and so instead I of love. garage, she was like garage. But like, I can't do the accent. That's so but, hot. Like, she's like garage. <laughs> garage. Garage. What is like, she saying? Garage. Garage. She was garage, garage, but garage. garage. Or like instead of drover, garage. it was like. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah. It was something else, but the accents, accents, that's the best accent I've ever heard. I was like, damn. Hello. I fell in love Bro, with the accent I heard. I like mm. how curious like other like girls are from other countries. Like they want to learn about the culture and shit. Cause this girl in Santa Barbara, I miss her. Fuck. 
Um, <laughs> Drake moment. It was uh, they're from like um, Sweden and Denmark, and I didn't know how close like both of those countries were, and they would get pissed off if you would call one like Danish them. or one like Swedish. And they all had like blonde hair, like bird. I mean, yeah, I would get Pops, pissed, but I would get pissed off if like <laughs> someone thought I was like Canadian or something, even Canadian. though even though like American. Like yeah. Canada, kind of American. Like, exactly. Like I'd be mad. Real What's ma- the difference no. between us? Really? Do They're we have a language? Canada. Do we have like a? They eat their bacon hella weird. They like cut it off the, <laughs> the hog's ass. Yeah, they got Canadian bacon. Yeah, no, we- they're like um, because some of Canada is like used to be like French like yeah, provinces, French right or whatever. So they have like a lot of like French culture. Mm. That's true. That's true. Like, what the fuck? They don't just go to America. I don't they know. They have better healthcare, I think, out there. Or something really? like that. They, they have got that universal better. John. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. We got Obamacare. Maloney loved that one. <laughs> <laughs> Obamacare. Canada's no, but like, at, huh? It's quite peaceful out there. Really? No wars. They're never in any wars. Yeah, they're never in fun. We always want beef with somebody. We do. Yeah, they weak. Like, say, say some shit again. <laughs> yeah. I'll blow the fuck out your country, out that little village. Say something else. <laughs> Canada's Fly a balloon peaceful. in this fucking air, <laughs> bro. In this atmosphere again, you should go to smithereens. <laughs> we show you, hey, million dollar missile. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. We'll blow okay. that shit. Well, nuke all right the way now. up. Fuck it. But that uh, accents. I was thinking. I was talking about this. Um, girls like from other countries. I heard in like Europe and shit. Mm. They think like we have accents. We do, but yeah, everyone has an accent. Yeah. Has a fucking accent. California accent. Everyone thinks like we talk. Uh, you know, like hello, like slow, like laid back, like, like what's up, bro? Like, <laughs> you trying to go surfing, bro? Like what's shit up, like that. Bro? <laughs> I know, but then there's like different parts of America. Like the South has like a different accent. Oh yeah, we know. But like Boston has a different who's accent. Fucking who's cousin? <laughs> 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 All right, who's fucking who's cousin? <laughs> Where the fuck is my beard, Donna? <laughs> okay. I'll so, tell yeah. you three more times. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, so I mean, I can't get mad at people for. You think we have it? So we have an accent. It's kind of cute when they like. We for sure have an accent. Have you ever, um, either both of you, have you ever like been outside the country and like traveled to like a different country outside of America? I mean, I've been to Mexico. That doesn't count. Yeah, that doesn't. Damn. No, but I want to go. You had a resort. (laughs) Yeah, and I was like fucking 14. I have not. I want to go really bad. Uno mas tequila, por favor. (laughs) That's Barcelona. Hey, you down? We gotta do Cause, a trip. Cause Brandon Zumbo and all them, they went to Barcelona. And they said they love American accents. Really? Oh yeah. If you're God. American, like in a different country, they either like really hate you or like really love you. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. Boy, it's over. It's, Give me yeah. that passport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking so, like three blue shoes before. <laughs> fuck, I hate you. Oh, <laughs> Bobby, down. I mean, Europe over there. Shit. Yeah. Stamp the fuck out of my. And passport. It's cheap once you're out there. Too. It is hella cheap. It's just hard to. Yeah, yeah. I hate long ass flights though. 15, like, 16 hours, yeah. Like, what the fuck? I need to be laying down. I like, can't go over the ocean. Fucking, pop that's just scary. Yeah, the ocean. Oh, you gotta go over the ocean. I'm like, I gotta be up. <laughs> imagine the whole just time. hitting this. Imagine <laughs> blinkering the stizzy and then you looking down. <laughs> it's just a whole vast ocean. <laughs> Let me off the plane. <laughs> I probably would have an anxiety attack, honestly. I gotta be yeah. knocked out or like paying yeah. attention the whole time. I yeah. can't. No in between. Gotta go back to Asia. I've been to Asia before. I've been to. Mm. Uh, Vietnam and then Thailand twice. Ooh, movie. Thailand. Man, that <laughs> shit's super cheap. Like, like, di- like, bre- like each meal is like a dollar, like around a dollar, like two dollars. Like super cheap. And then I, like, I'll I, be big balling out there, just buy the whole fucking restaurant. I went to like a bar and like a beer, like on draft, like was fifty cents. Oh like, my! That's what it equaled out to. Like I would be cents. literally like wheelchaired back to like my hotel. <laughs> yeah. You getting with the fucking lady boys in Vietnam? <laughs> Hell we don't call it Bangkok for nothing, baby. Like the hangover, wake up with a Mike Tyson tattoo. <laughs> That's probably why. Honestly, do you think hello Americans in like not just Americans, but like people from other countries and they go to Thailand and stuff? Do they like it's a actual resort people go to all the time, right? Yeah, and like they get fucked up. Like, like they go there resorts. for that to get fucked up. There's a lot of like horny old men there too. You'll see them walking around with like young with, with Asian, boys? no, like yellow yeah, girls, but like young Asian girls and like an old like white man. <laughs> And he's like, oh, like he like paid for her, like you can tell right away. But I feel like it's a lot of like people who they like, got like divorced, like their wife died or some shit. They're just lonely, so they go out there. And they fuck a lady. How would you know? Because like, they got money too. They don't give a show fuck. You a picture. How would you? What? That's what I saw it on Instagram, bro. When you're, they would show when, you a picture. Well, when you go out there, it's like it's like free game. Like they're trying to, there's bitches like trying to fuck you, but they're like hookers. Like you got to pay for it. Like you for sure would get trapped. 
<laughs> they're like grabbing you like you got girlfriend like, oh no girlfriend? baby you're so handsome <laughs> like that shit bro well how would you determine like if they're a boy or girl uh you can i mean dude some of them you can't really tell i know i don't know there's different I parts saw that you gotta, on YouTube. when you go to like a different country like that you gotta like meet up or like hire someone who's like a local there like i have like family out there that's why i've been out there and they like show you the way mm-hmm. if you try to like go out there by yourself you're kind of get like finessed for sure oh, damn. damn that's some free game you gotta like hire a translator or some shit do they have translators out there like you fuck yeah. yeah really damn yeah. That's like a top profession, I feel like. I need there. a badge on. No, yeah, that's like, finger. yeah, they make bands. Yeah. I can if you, imagine. like, are in, born in Vietnam and you, like, somehow learn English, then you can, like, because you make hella tips with the foreigners who come in there. Fuck, yeah. And, like, usually the only, like, rich pe- rich families can, like, afford to get, like, an American teacher. So they it's just like, be camped out at the airport or some shit? Or? <laughs> like the translator! Up the translator. Nah, can, I don't know. <laughs> you can hire them online or something. That's great. I'm going to clip that. That's a good little clip. We can have Hello. Content. Hashtag I know. Thailand. I'm trying to go back out there. You Hashtag down? Lady Boy. I'm down. That would be so funny. Wait, when, when, like, what was shoot for? Like next summer or something? This summer. Yeah, this summer or something. I got saved up. How much do you think uh, it is to go out there? You go left, right? If you flew. What? You go over like Hawaii, towards <laughs> Hawaii. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Not obviously. Not you just going to. The Earth is flat. You just going to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's the Atlantic or the Pacific. Nah, you gotta go Pacific, but it's still, I mean, it's still gonna be like 13 or like 16 hours, something like that. That's what it was. How much did you spend all together, you think? I was with my family, so they really like bought everything, but not that much. Really? Yeah. Like a couple of bands? Couple, couple, like hundred dollars. It's cheap. It's cheap. You can get like a good like place to like live and like food's hella cheap. It's, yeah. I the flight's are, the most expensive part, for sure. How much is a flight? Probably like a band. Band, probably, yeah. There and back? Yeah. Wow, that's not bad. I ain't gonna lie. Summer it's the move. It's the move. That's what I'm saying. We'll talk. We'll discuss off camera. Hello. No. Um, do we have any more questions? And I don't have no girlfriend, baby. We've already been going for an hour. Really? Yeah. This any shit, more questions? This shit has flown by. We have. We have. We have. Um, no, we got nothing else, really. There's just Jeremy. He says, if Rome wasn't built in a day, how many days did it take? He trolling. He's trolling. Obviously, that shit took a while. And that's the point of the fucking quote. Rome wasn't, Rome built, wasn't built in a, in a day. day. That means every day you got to stack a brick to mm. eventually build a coliseum, a palace, something historical and monumental. You love that. That's you love that saying. Life. Rome wasn't built in a day. He, I'm, getting, I'm getting it tatted on my leg. Really? And with the coliseum. Oh, so yeah. that's, that's actually dope. It was either that or LeBron's face. Uh, no, don't do LeBron's face. No, because people, how do people have like Kobe tats? And I'm like, don't get LeBron. I mean, but you don't think uh, Kobe, no. he died. I mean, it's kind of. You a grown man. Don't get a <laughs> stranger's face on you, bro. I was, I was thinking that too. But Google it. How many days did it take Rome to be built? <laughs> okay. We'll Google this, and this will be the last one. Larry, you were talking about it. You said you were about to get a tattoo. What are you thinking to get in? I'm about to get my last name on my form with. I want to do the Bay Bridge instead of the Golden Gate Bridge on top of it. And then maybe a clock or a flower like a rose. <laughs> you going to cry? No. You going to use a numbing cream? Yeah. It says Rome, it says Rome was approximately built in 1,010,450 days. How do they even calculate that? That means we still building, baby. We still building. But still yeah, building. I mean, I feel like I would, get, I would get a tattoo, but I just don't know what to get. Like, I have nothing, like, meaningful enough. Yeah, that's, what, Ying that's the hard part. Yeah. I mean, your last name. But you, uh, I mean, you a tall, light skin. You got to get the I tattoo. I have to. You got to get blasted. Pause. What's blasted? Like, like you just you gotta sleeved, sleeved up, bro. The whole sleeve? Yeah. Like, they still, hate on, me. They still hate on me for my bird sleeve. Oh my bird, my bird, fucking! How far can you take the shirt off? Can we see the whole no, thing? No, bitch. No, <laughs> you out of pocket. Part seventy five. Part seventy five. Just one three three. Six, uh, hey, day seventy five. I'm taking my shirt off. Can we do a torso <laughs> reveal? Day seventy five. <laughs> torso reveal. Yeah, you show off your torso. Mm. Well, I just showed off my torso. Oh. Cause it's day seventy five. Yeah. Take off the shirt. Torso. Oh yeah, reveal. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what a torso is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should I do a reveal day? Uh, yeah. Seventy five. People get so hyped. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's be go. Fire. Before and after. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Um start but, doing three workouts now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean we'll save it for y'all. We're gonna wrap it up. Uh I think it's been a very good episode. Larry, thank you for coming through clutch. No problem. Fuck Antoine. Last minute. Um <laughs> <laughs> 
fuck you, Antoine. How do you how do you rate your experience? Would you ten out of tell 10. your friends to come on the podcast? Oh yeah, I will. This give is fun, it, bro. Like this is fun. It is it like flows. it's super easy. Like we just did like an hour. Like that was super quick. I know it went by fast. That was it's really just like freestyling. Welcome just, anytime, baby. Yeah, like, hey. I was waiting because I was like 21, hey, 22. When am I gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah. Twenty three is legendary though. Yeah, so, I, hey, hey man, this is episode twenty three. It's been great. We're steady climbing. We got merch for you guys. New content. I'm gonna be grinding my ass off this weekend with the TikToks. Follow, comment, share, yeah. subscribe, all that stuff. R75, day 75. Hello. I will be doing a torso reveal. <laughs> so, ladies, prepare yourself. And wear man. something dry. Get your squeegee ready. <laughs> Hello. And we go. We gonna be uh, all right, man. But uh, with that being said, hey, are you wondering? Look at his lips. <laughs> oh shit. No, it wasn't. With that being said. <laughs> If it ain't cocked and loaded, it don't don't shoot, shoot, bitch. bitch. We out.